you sit down at a piano, you can expect for the music to tell its own story. But what if the instrument could tell one of its own? My name is Paul Wise. This is a Steinway & Sons concert grand that I designed and painted based on Mazurkski's Pictures at an Exhibition. Paul is a concert pianist and acclaimed visual artist who put his two passions center stage. He's the first artist in history to design, paint, and play a Steinway art case piano. I never ever would have thought that I would do an art case piano or paint an art case piano. It wasn't even my idea. To start off, it was Ron Losby, the CEO and president of Steinway. Weiss was inspired by the musical composition Pictures at an Exhibition by Matas Mazursky. Mazursky was a Russian composer from the 19th century who brought his country's history, folklore, and other themes into his works. He wrote the music based on drawings and watercolors done by friend and artist Victor Hartman. The pieces have never been recovered. It's a full study of Mazursky's work, not just the work, but its influence over time how it fits into our modern day society and what kinds of influences it's had on other composers um, throughout the years. So knowing all of that stuff made it, made the, the project just so complicated. <laughs> so many things to work out, so many things to include. Every little detail that you see on that piano is some kind of very carefully calculated and thought out inclusion of some detail about the story that I felt I wanted to include. With so many artistic and performance accomplishments, it had to be easy for Weiss to combine his two loves on a Model D grand piano. Or was it? You would think that it would be a, an easy thing to do, um, but it actually made it very, very difficult in the sense that I, I knew too much about piano playing. Um, to just fluff over anything. So it made it so that I, approaching a concert D, Steinway Piano, and it's pictures at an exhibition, which is iconic in a musician's mind, uh, it made it so that I couldn't just do a teacup version of it, a painted teacup. I had, to, I had to come up with something that was meaningful, that said something about the piece, that said something about the composer, that says something about a pianist who might play it. Pictures at an Exhibition sure was a labor of love. The project that began in 2012 is now a showstopper. It's a four-year project, start to end. Um, most of the actual work um, of painting and um, getting these amazing legs put together are, is a two, two or three of those years. It's, it's an overlapping of art and music in a, in a kind of cool way and um, trying to sometimes draw inspiration from the pictures to play the music and then sometimes drawing from the music to paint the pictures. We, uh, this is called the Marketplace at Limoges and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a musical depiction of two women fighting and bickering at the market. Um, and you've, it's sharp accents and um, funny, funny little uh, you know, squeaky voices, and um, that's all we have. We, we have a, uh, he's painted a, a musical portrait of this painting, and that's all we have to go for. So how do I then take that music and turn it into some kind of visual interpretation? One of the, one of the things I, I, I really wanted to do was to use the piano as it is, as it, and, and try to exploit it as it is to get some effect to tell the story. One of the things that I wanted to do was use that curve, that circle, if you will, the way that that kind of goes around the piano, to be a representation for Mazursky's promenade. I assure you that when you, answer, when you ask a question about this piano, that there's an answer somewhere on the piano. Here's the question that we've all been waiting for. How much is this beauty? It's $2.5 million, or 145,150,000 rubles. For a piece of musical, artistic, and cultural history, that's nothing. Reporting from New York, I'm Christy Clements.